now everybody knows about it media houses are like telling you that this is such and this is jute kind of thing but like uh, i tried that uh, 3 years ago <laughs> in fact the reason i did it was uh, uh, my family members and my friends they used to send a uh, few things which were quite annoying they said that if you drink this particular cold drink you'll get aids kind of stuff you all are aware of so that uh, was annoying i used to search on net i i used to come across some websites which gave proper proof and i used to share those link with my family members and all but then i thought that nobody is in in india is doing it so let's move forward with it i started from like facebook i uh, i did it on from all platforms i started so like what exactly is fake news fake news you know the word you know about it but it has different type of these are of different type different genres even uh, misinformation disinfor something could be outright lie something could be totally fabricated uh, photoshopped or something but then there are things which are like trimmed uh, some video is trimmed for to prove to something to you so this fake news let's move forward with this okay so like we all think that uh, uh, somehow technology has exaggerated it uh, with the, uh, the smartphones in our hand with the uh, data now so uh, costing so low but fake news is something very old in mahabharat when bhishma died uh, we ye this uh, krishna uh, dronacharya took the responsibility of uh, kauravas so krishna thought straight away that this guy this dronacharya cannot be uh defeated at all he has the divyastra and brahmastra and he has all the knowledge and respect he told uh, so he came up with a plan a strategy uh he knew the only weakness dronacharya has is his son asatama so now how to go about it he thought he formed a strategy he he, uh, he at first he told uh, arjun to do this but he denied that he is my uh, teacher i cannot do anything wrong so he told bhima to kill a elephant which also had the name of aswatthama and he uh, bhima killed aswatthama and uh, he came out shouting oh yes i killed aswatthama and everybody started like oh aswatthama is dead aswatthama is dead but dronacharya he was like uh, taken aback for a short while but he uh, that these guys must be lying so he discarded it but then he wanted to confirm he went to yudhishthir because yudhishthir is like he cannot lie at all he he is the the guy so he asked him yudhishthir started telling that yes asatthama died and he continued but i am not sure whether it was an elephant or a man but at that particular particular time when he said uh, asatthama died uh, krishna asked the, all the people to uh, start with uh, dhol nagade and everything so dronacharya ultimately ended up uh, listening only to his first part that yes ashwatthama died and he uh, believed in it and then he gave up he surrendered so this is like uh, what is going us with right now it's going for money for pranks for votes for religion for everything people are this is disinformation basically uh, there was one video going on in whatsapp it says that uh, shri devi the actress died just few days back it showed that uh, there is uh, somebody in uh, a coffee maker in istanbul turkey paid homage to shri devi and made a made her face on a latte it's called a latte art they make uh, different kind of patterns and things on it so uh, what actually happened was uh, everybody it's on going on whatsapp one one of the best actor also uh, tweeted that video that uh, this is a homage to shri devi and uh, but then and even a media house picked it up uh, b- believing in that actor and it's on p- popular on whatsapp also it's viral on whatsapp also but that actually was done by uh, there's a coffee just like starbucks and barista there's a coffee chain called gloria jeans cafe international so in dunbar south africa they ran that uh, particular uh, they made that video and it was dedicated for it was for on done on women's day in may 2017 that video was i had to dug up a lot but then i came across it had it was the exact same video there was one more 
uh, in fact mainstream media houses ran all the uh, media houses ran this yes this is this was it you most of many of you people might have received uh, this on whatsapp so this was actually uh, done in dunbar south africa may 2017 uh, as a dedication for women's day it had nothing to do with shri devi but many are like making it viral okay this video was also viral uh, uh, claiming that uh, fake currency notes are uh, are caught in uh, Bangladesh being printed in Bangladesh, so this was quite viral and yes, did uh, look quite genuine. But this uh, this doesn't need, uh, need any rocket science. I just looked at the video closely. See, basically these all are working on our emotions, our panic mode. This when I looked at this video closely, the it says Bharatiya Children Bank. It's not Bharatiya Reserve Bank. It says Bharatiya Children Bank. Then next to fifty, it's written coupon, not fifty rupees. So that was worth noticing, which people didn't, didn't, and that was that's how it became viral. So this is one of the things which we, when we receive a video, or something, we need to look at it closely, not just forward it uh, right away. So uh, what we have to do about is like uh, what, why, and how of it? Why people do it? People are doing it because uh, many do it for money, because uh, so they it's, uh, they generate traffic to their websites using. Such things. Mainstream media houses ran this video claiming uh, there was a warning of Oki storm last in December 2017. So media houses ran this uh, video uh, that this uh, uh, Ola versus hail storm that uh, this is happened on Mumbai Pune highway. So the first thing which took me like uh, which I noticed about this how people people are driving on right side of the highway. In India we don't which even media failed to notice. Second is I looked through entire video. I came across a number plate of one car which was not an Indian format. I looked for that particular format. It was from Turkey. Then I start looking in uh, Turkey people. I came across a journalist who took this, who posted this video in April 2017, and it happened in Istanbul. So when I quoted all the media houses, many deleted their tweets and everything, but many are still there, and I have archived all of them. I have proved that they did print. This again was a major goof up by media houses. They all claimed, uh, even one newspaper put it in their front page, claiming that this uh, uh, flood was in Ahmedabad airport uh, last year. But uh, I thought I, I have seen this somewhere. I did some uh, researching on it. I, uh, I found the proof that this uh, particular photo was from Chennai airport uh, December 2015. So again, many media houses, few apologized, few deleted, but nothing actually changed then. Christopher Nolan, in uh, eight years back, in 2010, he gave us a science fiction, Inception. The job was the entire story revolved around planting an idea in somebody's mind. So the Dominic Cobb was planting idea. There were different stages. There are people putting people to sleep and all. But now that's not even necessary. We just forward one button and we plant idea into somebody else's mind. We are sharing. Many people are uh, so spreading this fake news with intention to get votes, to get to, to fool someone, to spread hatred against particular religion. So this is how they are planting ideas in our mind using WhatsApp and Twitter and Facebook. So like Inception, which was a science fiction, then is a reality now. So why are doing this? I have just explained money. How do they, why do they do it for money? They, uh, there are like click baits. They give you some example that, oh, uh, this particular guy has said this. And oh my God, how can he say this? So we just click on that link, go and read the entire story, which doesn't have any source, any proof at all. But it, that page is full with advertisements, banners all around. So they ultimately got a hit from my side and they ended up ended, uh, earning money. And they have so much huge. See, uh, if, some, if they have posted something in favor of ruling party or like one particular religion, all the people biased towards this, they will share that particular thing, whether true or not. They will share this. And so they these get, uh, get up like thousands of share and they make money out of it. It doesn't, they don't have anything to do with truth or false or any sources. But well, then a masala. They just give out, give you something very interesting which you share. So yes, politics may they uh, edit uh, what do you call? It? They edit videos. They Photoshop many pictures. 
in religion there had been many cases i have also debunked many they pick up a video from some brazil or somewhere else which was posted in 2010 and 2012 and they give they serve you on whatsapp saying bqi media ab ye kal hua bqi media aapko nahi dikhai ki sache bhartiyo to share karo then it's like a, a challenge for us that we have to prove oh yes i'm a patriot then we need to for where we fall and we keep forwarding such things and pranks just as i said that um, uh aap ye cold drink piyoge to aapko age ho jayega ka the stupid kind of that could be termed as like uh, uh, brand conflicts or something recently there was like uh, lays chips are made of plastic so what i did was one uh, one guy uh, picked up a uh, chip and he put it on his gas and it was uh, burning so i thought oh my god i had been eating this in my entire life and i'm still alive so what could be wrong so i treat by my my ghar ka wo kele ka chips jo ghar mein bana hua hai and i tried it with my this uh, monaco's biscuits so they all burnt in the very same way now i have told you about the websites the websites are actually they name something like i'll give you an example bbc news point fox news point now bbc itself is a uh, it has a website bbc.com but there are like uh, one ran that this particular party is uh, rooted as most corrupt in the world this particular pm but these people uh, these websites have nothing to even uh, when i asked bbc they said that we didn't do this survey so these are very shady websites they run on our traffic we are like uh, oh my god it's true so we just uh, visit there we share it so they end up earning money then fake website twitter facebook accounts there are hundreds of twitter handles like if you take a name amitabh bachchan or somewhere there are amitabh underscore bachchan amitabh bachchan underscore one amitabh bachchan zero amitabh mein double e double a and they use their photo and they have their own particular agenda they are working for some particular party some particular religion they praise someone whom they believe in and they spread hatred using fake photos and fake against others so when we come across this uh, plus since i don't know many of you don't know about twitter they are not on twitter but you do get their sc- screenshot on their wo- on your whatsapp which makes you feel oh my god he really did say this. you you don't actually check the profile whether what exactly that profile is doing so we believe in it. so this is again how this inception is working so we need to keep on checking what is right and whether should we believe in it or not the basic point is the very basic thing is uh why are we falling for this which platform affects most so now facebook twitter then there are many wordpress blogspot etc 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 but what is affecting our country most right now is whatsapp why whatsapp because since now the data cost is so so very low people everybody almost everybody a daily even a daily worker uh, daily wage worker have a whatsapp on his mobile they do, they do not know about facebook or twitter but they have whatsapp so uh, the this reaches to them and they believe in it they don't even uh, they don't bother to check and everything and they just keep on forwarding so but, and they do vote so they they are uh, possible victims there's a scam going on in whatsapp uh, which i'll tell you about see uh, uh, almost like a week, uh, once in a week or two we receive something like this that uh, you can change your whatsapp to from green color to blue color by register by activating here look at the link the link has nothing to do with whatsapp you will get an error uh, activate now what it asks you is to register to register it asks you for your name your address if not address at least your mobile the mobile is must for that जियो एनिवर्सरी ऑफर में जियो सबको दे रहा है एक साल तक फ्री इंटरनेट न वी आर ऑलरेडी गेटिंग इट फॉर सो लो वाई शुड यू गो फॉर इट बट लुक द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस स्कैम इज लुक एट द यू आर एल जियो डॉट न्यू एंड डैश ईयर डॉश ऑफर डॉट इन सो मोस्ट ऑफ लाइक माई अंकल्स एंड आंट्स एंड मेनी पीपल हु आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ यू आर एल्स एंड डोमेन दे वुड से अच्छा जियो वर्ड आ गया तो सही होगा एंड दे वुड गो एंड रजिस्टर बट मैनी ऑफ पीपल यूर अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस is not the geo website it it all so now in next step, when you click and register on it what it will ask you for it will ask you for your name and number you will give it out we hum to sochte na are free mein mil raha hai main kaun sa paisa de raha hu mera kya jata hai so we fall for it what actually happens is the guy who started this scam he just merely it takes 99 rupees to book such domains 
he just booked this domain he forwarded it to his old server and you are giving out your number to him he end up getting and uh, there is a the beauty of the scam is you have to share it in eight whatsapp groups that is the beauty of it once you follow uh, almost all whatsapp group has uh, at least 20 to 25 people out of which 5 to 10 will fall for it so just imagine within a day or two within 24 hours the that guy will end up getting around 5 to 10 lakh mobile numbers in his database and the very next day he will call up some uh, some builder or someone if you want to sell i have got telemarketing data the real data since we want to uh, get this we will obviously give out our real mobile numbers so from uh, the next week you'll start getting aapko unsecured loan chahiye kya aapko ye chahiye kya you'll start getting these things so this is a scam you, you should look for this uh, the first thing is these kind of companies don't uh, do this on whatsapp second thing is just look at the url if it is geo.com it is workable or else it is not it uh, comes in the name of you can get iphone for free or redmi for free or amazon Bay billion deals so they keep on changing the names and say, but you can always uh, check it out. This was like Modi ji is giving out Pradhan Mantri Laptop Vitran Yojana 2007 online registration. This was very viral. This was very viral. But look at the pmyojana.com. If it is official, it should be .gov.in. If it is official, it should be .gov.in. Okay, so now how is this working? How is fake news spreading this wings and now working at all? First thing is common sense. Now it's already extinct. I would request government to subsidize it, exempt it from tax. <laughs> Shouldn't it? So the first thing is common sense. You get hold of it from anywhere. Buy it in black. Second is open mind. Open mind is the like biggest weakness. of We all are living in a filter bubble right now. So this filter bubble is a mess. The, we should keep our minds open and believe in facts only. Something like a court. They look for evidences from all sizes. They just, you, we should not. So this, uh, this again is a very important thing, open mind. Last thing is uh, one of the tool I use is image search. Google has a option, images.google.com. So it asks you to, whenever you receive something like this, some Photoshop or some whatever, you can just upload that photo over there and they will give you a huge line of like results whether uh, uh, that photo where it has appeared before was it posted before was it is it from some other country or somewhere else so most of my work uh, i results i get from this somebody sends me photo that this happened yesterday and this i just so upload it and google tell me that this was posted on facebook in 2014 again when it comes to videos the clips we receive what happens is when somebody post uh, uploads a video on youtube by default youtube takes its very first frame as a default thumbnail so it 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 gives you an option which one you want to be as a thumbnail but normally people don't they just upload it right away so uh, most of the time when i receive a clip i take the screenshot of the very first frame and i uh, reverse search it so i get uh, results and if I don't get in first try, then I uh, come across like uh, the important points in that particular video. So I'll uh, leave it to you, your thinking that how to uh, keep yourself uh, safe from fake news. The basic point I say WhatsApp is a very beautiful application, but it's meant for communications, sharing things, songs, photographs, etc. But it's not your Subeka newspaper. We need to keep a look on these things. It's not a rocket science. Fake news can always be debunked. You just have to look at the things closely. So I'll leave it to you there. Thank you.